We are extremely proud uh, of this great team. We're even more proud of the partnerships and how we've fostered that over the years. And we just ask for your continued support. Um, I don't think there's anything that comes our way that we can't handle if we do it together. Fort Meade Medic and Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center Commander Colonel Tracy Michael unveiling a commemorative marker as Kimbrough celebrated its 60th anniversary. More on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Me Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week it's Hispanic Heritage Month, our regular look at what's going on at Transition Assistance, and a conversation with two generations of Army chaplains. These stories and more, but first Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center marked its 60 year anniversary in ceremonies last week. Kimbrough was formerly known as the U.S. Army Hospital at Fort Meade. The name was changed in 1961 to honor Colonel James Kimbrough, considered the father of Army urology. The ceremony featured a slate of guest speakers, including Anne Arundel County Delegate Michael Rogers and representatives from the NSA, U.S. Cyber Command, and the Defense Health Agency. Also on hand, General Mary Kruger, Commander of Regional Health Command Atlantic. But as many of you know, the past few years at Kimbrough, much like the military health system as a whole, has really been a series of changes that have transformed the way that it's done business. And while Kimbrough looks much different today than it did 60 years ago, it has maintained one very important constant. And that is the dedication to the mission of providing safe, high quality care and keeping our military and interagency communities in the highest state of readiness. At the close of the ceremony, Colonel Michael unveiled a commemorative marker placed just outside Kimbrough. As, uh, I want to thank the team, the Kimbrough team that put all of this together. They did a phenomenal job under a very short timeline and then there was some uncertainty about whether COVID was going to even allow us to do this uh, in a hybrid manner. Uh, but they just did a phenomenal job, always adapting, always making it happen. So without further ado, Sergeant Major, sure. did you have any? I, I can't follow that, sir. <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and unveil what we are affectionately calling the commemorative stone, a.k.a. the oh, edifice. <laughs> Happy 60th anniversary and congratulations to the entire Kimbrough staff. Meanwhile, in other news, Club Mead and the Fort Mead Equal Opportunity Office hosted this year's Hispanic Heritage Month observance. This year's guest speaker was Command Sergeant Major Jorge Grajeda from the 741st Military Intelligence Battalion. Work ethic, don't quit, pride, humility, and helping others, welcoming others to the force. What I did when I welcomed you, Sergeant Major, is something that I learned from when I was a kid. You're welcoming. You build bridges as opposed to burning them, okay? You break down those walls, you break down those barriers. That's just who we are in the Hispanic community. And I know we relate to several soldiers because that's what we're taught. It's part of our army values, but it's part of my culture and it's part of what and who I am. Time now for our regularly scheduled look at what's happening at the Transition Assistance Office. The next TAP workshop is scheduled for October 4th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. The workshop is virtual and for separating service members. There's an Amazon Web Services networking session on October 12th. It's being offered through DOD Teams. You can get the link from the TAP office. The next Fort Meade Virtual Employer Day is October 15th from 9 to 1.30. The TAP office says you should be prepared to engage with employers online. We'll post a list of participating employers as we get closer to the event. There's an Executive TAP workshop October 18th. This is designed for grades 05 and E8 and above. Learn how to get your certification as a project management professional on October 28th. This is also a virtual event. To register for any of these events and for more information, contact the Transition Assistance Office at 301-677-9871 or you can email them. In other news, Fort Meade bid farewell to its Family Life Chaplain, Major Dwayne Hughes, in retirement ceremonies last week. And while we don't normally cover retirement ceremonies, we made an exception here. You see, Chaplain Hughes was joined by Army Chaplain Captain Joshua Hughes, his eldest son. Here's a small portion of our conversation with the chaplain's Hughes. Sir, um, can you describe your feelings when you found out that it was going to happen, your son was going to retire? Oh, yeah, chaplain? absolute elation. Actually, we were just putting on our yeah. uniforms for the retirement ceremony in front of two other 06 chaplains. You know, I was just very proud of him. Love him deeply. <clears throat> because I know the impact that chaplains have. For you know, more of the conversation, check out this week's episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. And that's Meade Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Meade TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Meade Week.